Next time you buy an onion and peel it off, remember that you are not to throw off the, or, um, the onion peel. You know, most times we assume that by the time we get um, the flesh, the peels are useless. But today I want to tell you that you should stop wasting your onion peels. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Thank you for stopping by. I really do appreciate you. Thank you so much. Please, if you haven't subscribed, could you please kindly click the subscribe button. If you have subscribed, Gloria Cheesy O is saying thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you. Please click the notification button to get notified whenever I post a new video. Share this video if you find it helpful. Thank you so much. So, today I want to talk about um, the onion peels. The onion is um, in the family of um, garlic. And we, know, we all know how spiritually potent garlic is. Same with onion. Onion can be used in so, so many ways spiritually. But one way I want to talk about the use of onion today is the use of onion peel and prekis, aka I don't. Now, even if you don't have prekis and bay leaf, onion peel alone is very powerful. And I want to tell you today that some mixture and composition of some incense you buy, there are onion peels in it. That is how. Um, spiritually powerful it is when you have your onion peels enough onion peels and you have um, your prekis it's very difficult to um, blend this prekis and you have your bay leaf some bay leaf not one please all you need to do is burn and will tell us what this does when you burn them together all you need to do is burn them as an incense you sit beside it meditatively but please be careful with some um, inhaling of um, smoke do not sit too close to it now if the only thing you have is onion peel it will serve these are just like extra spiritual addition We've talked on this channel on how to burn prekis and all that. But if you have prekis and have bay leaf, this is another way of purifying yourself, of cleansing yourself, of cleansing your home, your environment, and everyone in your home. When you burn onion peel alone or onion peel alongside some bay leaf, and prekis. This is what it does. Onion peel burn as incense keeps negativity away, keeps evil far from you, cleans you of every negative energy, makes you to become um, spiritually like, permit me to use the word um, fortified, you understand? Now, basically, burning an onion peel alongside these other three ingredients send away, remove everything that needs to be removed. I call it another method of cleansing. I call it another method of purifying your home. Another method of sending negative energy, evil, far from your home and your surrounding. You understand? Now, when you burn onion peel alone with When you burn onion peel alone with um this as cloves, cloves, some cloves. When you burn onion peels alone and cloves, this tends to bring you favor, blessing, good luck. You know, I have told us on this channel, we're still coming to we're still going to talk about incense. I've told us on this channel that you don't burn incense for burning sake. 
you burn incense meditatively. As you're burning incense, the, uh, the fragrance, or do I say aroma, goes far. Goes far. You understand? Like, it's an announcer. Allow me to use the word announcer. Now, it doesn't just announce to humans around that will say, ah, who is burning something like this? You understand? That is how it is spiritually also. It's an announcer. So you don't just burn incense just like that. You burn incense meditatively. You burn incense prayerfully. Because as you're burning the incense, it invites the good spirits around you. As you're burning the incense, the aid, angels that good angels that guides you the aroma attracts them now burning of incense is another way of saying thank you to your guardian angel thank you to your chi yes it's another way of saying thank you because just like um even in the bible a sweet um how do i call it aroma or whatever ascends to heaven so that is how burning incense is it attracts things around you good things around you yes because negative energies negative things cannot stand um when they perceive the aroma or do i call it odor of an incense it sends them far away far away take for example like i always tell us i am a catholic and in the process of um mass procession incense is being is being burnt you understand so incense is not something you just burn for burning sake you burn incense prayerfully you burn incense when you feel like you want to communicate with god yes can i tell you that you can also burn incense when you are having your quiet time your prayer time with god yes you can burn incense so also you can burn incense when you feel like you want to let go of some things you want to let go of some habits sometimes when you're burning this incense if there are things you need to let go hatred failure disappointment you can write them on a sheet of paper and throw it into the burning um incense same way if there are things you wish by god's grace to attract you can burn them as an intention on a sheet of paper and throw them into the burning of um incense that is if you're burning an incense that has to do with well, that has to do with some um, drawing that has to do with some um, bringing that has to do with some um, um, drawing blessings and all that that is how you burn incense sometimes like i said like i said we are still going to talk more on types of incense to burn and for whatever reason. This thing I've, I've always have here for some time now is incense, a video I've been longing to make, but it will still make the, it will still make the video. I am waiting for some ingredients to be complete. Then we go ahead and make the video. So if you have not got incorporated the habit of burning incense in your it's very good please do so it will help you it will awaken you thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate you it's none other person but gloria cheesy oh thank you